The National Security Advisor Rajit Doval will visit Russia early this month, and the focus will be on defense and security, while the External Affairs Minister will visit Russia by mid-August, with the agenda covering bilateral trade and strategic energy partnerships. The Indian Army has neutralized three terrorists in the ongoing operation in the Kulgam district, and Rudra attack helicopter has been deployed to hunt down the two remaining terrorists. An intelligence bureau report reveals that Pakistan is constructing 15 new terror camps and launch pads in POK, that aim to facilitate fresh infiltration into JNK. The Border Security Force has launched an investigation into the Made in China drone that was shot down about 650 meters inside Indian territory, near the Indo-Bangladesh border in Tripura, that was equipped with two high-resolution cameras. Philippines Armed Forces Chief has confirmed plans to acquire more weapon systems from India, and he praised the affordability and quality of Indian weapons. Noida-based Indio Air has successfully tested a fail-safe parachute system on its Sabal 20 Logistics UAV, which enhances flight safety by ensuring controlled descent during emergencies. Noida-based Indio Air has successfully delivered a 10 kg bag of rice, from Sangye Gang to Fajoding Monastery in Bhutan in a demonstration. Noida-based Rota Group has entered a technology transfer agreement with Germany's Quantum Systems, to enable local production of next-generation UAVs in India. Jindal Defence has unveiled the Typus 100G, which is an AI-powered hard-kill system compatible with 7.62 and 12.7 rounds, that uses advanced sensors and geofencing to autonomously detect and neutralize threats. The 75 km range guided Pinnaka rocket system achieved a circular error probable of just 2 meters in Army trials, surpassing Indian Army's requirement of 40 meters. The DRDO has said that the 90 km range ramjet powered 155 mm artillery shell will be ready in 9 years, while experts have warned that it might be too late, as global peers like the US and Norway already lead in such technology. Pune-based Quantum Tech FPV has delivered its first fiber-optic FPV drone to the Indian Army, that reduces latency and boosts security against jamming. Eleven countries have shown interest in buying the Sabre sniper rifle from SSS Defense, which has already exported rifles and ammo worth $50 million to a friendly nation. Hyderabad-based Beeper Defense is jointly developing extended range of Ogram series rifles with the DRDO to boost indigenous firearms production. Pune-based Nibe Limited has received a 6.12 crore rupees export order from Israel's Elbit Systems to supply parts for the 70mm guided advanced tactical rocket. In a major development, India and Russia have officially begun talks to locally manufacture the ramjet engines for the Brahmos and Brahmos NG missiles. Russia has offered full technical support to establish the local engine production at the newly inaugurated Brahmos Aerospace Facility in Lucknow, that will increase indigenous content in the missile system, reduce costs and improve export delivery timelines. National Aerospace Laboratories has announced the development of a low-radar cross-section ultra-wideband electronic warfare antenna for the AMCA. It will be flush-mounted into the AMCA airframe without any protruding parts, that will enhance stealth, enable active RCS reduction by emitting tailored electromagnetic signals to disrupt incoming radar waves, and support electronic warfare jamming and signals intelligence roles. The Aeronautical Development Agency has extended the deadline for submitting bids for the AMCA fighter jet's full-scale engineering development from 16 August to 31 August, and the extension comes with changes to the project's scope eligibility and partnership terms. The deadline was extended after companies requested more time due to the project's technical complexity and new updates in the bid document that clarifies roles in engine development stealth technology, IP rights and collaboration models. Today's top 3 comments.